Breath in and out. I'm gonna come right through there. Easy. We'll open up this one. Ooh. Nice. I'm gonna come right there. Nice. Hand out. Let the shoulders go. There we go. Dang. All good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kalina is coming in next. She is a busy, busy, full-time working mom. Three teenage girls. She has chronic low back pain and sciatica. She came to me a little while ago. Adjustments have been helping her a ton. Even with her busy schedule, she finds time to see me because she sees the value in it, and now she's sleeping through the night, which is amazing. Let's go grab her. And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button for me. So Kalina is a, a super busy mom of three teenage girls running around, she works full time. So, not a lot of time for herself, right? Definitely not. So you started seeing me a little while ago for sciatica? Yep. Correct? Yep. And made some good progress from that now. How is the back feeling? It feels pretty good, actually. Good. Um, I hurt my ankle a few weeks ago, and so yep. I've been in a boot so that it puts pressure on the yes. one side, so that's still a little bit tight, but it's better than last week. That's right. She was on a cruise ship, <laughs> and she slipped on the deck and sprained her deltoid ligaments, I think, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. She's in a boot for, it was just a week or two, right? No, four weeks. Oh, four weeks. Yeah. Okay, I didn't see you for a while then. Yeah. Okay, that's right. We were doing some rehab for a little while, and just kind of got to the point where it was like, she didn't really have time doing anything extra at this point. So what we're just kind of doing is more frequent adjustments yep. just to make sure everything's moving okay. And then maybe at a, at a point in time when the schedule allows, we'll dive a little bit more into the exercise yes. re rehab stuff. But yeah. so far it's getting you through. Yep, Seems it's like. getting me through. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's way better than it's been in years, so. In years? Yeah. Okay. For sure. I didn't realize this was going on for years. Yeah, it's been a struggle. Okay. Even just going to the gym and any sort of lifting would irritate it and it's been so much better so good yeah why'd you wait so long to come in um because i'm a busy mom of three okay and sorry <laughs> that's fair put yourself last yes <laughs> got it okay yeah. how was uh how was the low back affecting your life sleeping walking running running was not a possible was not, not possible. possible anymore no okay yeah it's just affects everything <laughs> mostly yeah. sleep Sleep. would wake me up in the middle of the night. Do you feel like yeah. the adjustments help with the sleep a lot? Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't woken me up any time recently. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. And that has such a nice trickle-down effect, because if you're not sleeping, your body just goes into chaos, right? Yes. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, let's check it out. If I come here and give you a little pressure, how's that one? That one's okay. Okay. How about going there? That tight. that one's tight. Yep. So yep. tight yep. under my hand and then traveling out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if I just challenge these, you don't like that oh, one either? No. How about there? That's okay. Okay, so TL junction, we'll probably put some flexion in there. We'll see if we can get that SI joint to move. Let's do a little heat and a little soft tissue work in here because it feels like those muscles are grabbing a little bit yeah kind of makes sense if you know you got a boot on the right foot for a little bit this other side's taking a little bit more of the load yeah and it's still really sore so it's still really so you're still offloading yeah. it a bit yeah definitely she uh twisted her ankle and sprained it on a cruise ship about a month ago and she's been in a boot as a result of that she's been offloading that side and putting a lot of load on that hip and low back and now her back's really sensitive to compression the muscles are really tight so we're spending some extra time loosening that up making sure it adjusts nice and clean okay just going along the fibers of the erectors giving her some love That pressure, okay. Uh -huh. All right. right off to that corner, is that yeah. okay? Is that heat okay on you still, or uh -huh. you want me to take it off? No, it's okay. good. And come right off the corner here, and then just give you some pressure straight in. 
Yep, right there. Yeah. Just let me know when you feel maybe about 50% of the discomfort as you do now. That's better. Better? Yes. Okay. Just give you some lunchtime love so you're feeling all amped up for the second half of your day. I'm good with that. <laughs> I've known Kalina for 14 years, yeah. I think. So my first personal training job downtown at Anatomy, she was one of my first training clients. Yep. Tell me when. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> I think you worked with me more. They gave you me because I was nicer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was just like a shy 20-year-old. Yeah. You were so quiet. Was I? Yes. I was a lot different back then? Yeah. <laughs> Did I ever make you run the... Uh, the stairs? The stairs. Yes, Kyle. <laughs> it was like... There were so many of so them. So many stairs. Did we ever take a weight vest or dumbbells? Uh, or did we just go around? I think them? we did take dumbbells. Yeah. I think... He, I think Derek made Matt wear the, the vest. vest. Yeah. Ow. Definitely a bit, a bit tight in here in yeah. the ribs too. Okay, we'll get that. I think we'll get that one with you on your back. Okay, hang on to that elbow. There. that pressure okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to push up just a little okay. and then squeeze me. Breath in and out. I'm going to come right through there. Easy. All good there? Yeah. Any problems there? It's a little tight? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put your head there. I'm going to have you take this one. I'm gonna have to give you a little more force on this one. Is that okay? Yep. So go ahead and let that roll. Yep. And I'm gonna bring you to me. Big breath and out. Keep coming. I already went. Perfect. <laughs> Had enough tension on it, it just boom, went. We'll open up this one. Ooh. Nice. And I'm going to give you a little pressure on that hip so we can open it up a little better. Actually, I'm going to come right there. Nice. Ooh, nice. Whoa. Good? Yeah. Slide that way for me. I think if I stay up on the ankle, you'd be okay with that one? Yeah. I think it'll feel nice decompressing yeah. that hip. I give her a little pressure up on her pelvis, I can gap that hip joint a little better. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. So come straight through there. Let that muscle go a little more. You can do it. <laughs> so bad at it. Wiggle your uh, left knee. <laughs> you knew I was distracting yep. you, but it still worked. Yep. <laughs> it's really difficult for some people to relax their neck when they're on the table. Their head is in the hands of someone else. I have this problem as well. And I think it's important that you find a doctor that you trust, someone that's patient, someone that's really gonna take the time needed to understand your neck, your apprehension, and is not just rushing you in and out. Okay, does that angle feel good there or is it more comfortable there? Uh, that first one. Right there? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna wait till I feel you kind of give me. <laughs> Easy enough? Yeah. Okay. 
Let's see if we can get a little motion with you standing. Arms out to the side. I'm gonna have you go hands on top of mine. Elbows in a little. Right, head up just a tad. Elbows in towards each other. Breath in, hand out. Let the shoulders go. There we go. Dang. All good? Yeah. <laughs> kind of surprised me. It was more than I was expecting. That was a lot in that one. A lot.